You're listening to Bambino Babble Story. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a little witch named Luna. Luna was very small, with bright green hair and a little black hat that always seemed to fall over her eyes. She lived in a cozy cottage deep in the forest, where she brewed potions and cast spells all day long. One day, Luna decided to invite all of her forest friends to a tea party. She wanted to show them that witches weren't as scary as they thought. She put on her best dress, set out some cookies and cakes, and brewed a big pot of tea. The first to arrive was a little rabbit named Thumper. Luna welcomed him with a smile and an invitation to sit down and have a cup of tea. Thumper was hesitant at first, but he soon realized that Luna was very kind and friendly. They chatted about the weather and the latest gossip in the forest while sipping their tea. Next came a family of squirrels, followed by a group of birds. Luna made sure to have enough treats and tea for everyone. Soon, all of the forest creatures were happily chatting and enjoying the party. Suddenly, a loud noise interrupted the party. It was a group of trolls who had heard about the tea party and wanted to crash it. They were big and scary, with sharp teeth and rough, dirty clothes. The forest animals cowered in fear, but Luna stood her ground. Leave my friends alone, she shouted, her little voice trembling with anger. The trolls laughed and started to advance on the tea party, but Luna had a trick up her sleeve. She grabbed her wand and cast a spell that made the trolls shrink down to the size of mice. They scurried away never to be seen again. The forest animals cheered and congratulated Luna on her bravery. From that day on, Luna's tea parties became a regular occurrence in the forest. The animals loved coming to her cottage, where they knew they would be safe and happy. Luna made many new friends and became known as the little witch with a big heart. And so, Luna's tea parties continued for many years, bringing joy and happiness to all who attended. She lived a long and happy life, surrounded by the love of her forest friends. And even after she was gone, her memory lived on in the hearts of all who knew her.